What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with Fighting Fantasy, the latest book or the next book in the series. It's been so long since we've done one of these. I've, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys haven't been waiting for too long. My whole computer setup died. I had to reset all this again from scratch. We're finally here, we're finally ready. Today we're gonna be starting Scorpion Swamp. This one is from, uh, is it from both of them? Ian and Steve uh, Jackson. Yeah. So from what I've heard about this one, it is very, you can go anywhere you want at any point. You can retread your steps and instead of it just being like pushing towards the finale, I guess this one you can just do side quests and stuff. So I guess we'll see how it works. There's also spells in this one. So we have gems that we pick up, which allows us to use magic. So it's a little bit of sorcery in there as well. Other than that, I don't even really know what the story is, but we're just going to get straight into it because we've been missing doing these books. So yeah. let's get into it. Part one of Scorpion Swamp. Okay, do you want me to... Go ahead and read the background, then you can start yes, the story. Yes. Okay. Hardy adventurer that you are, you have never been known to quail at a little danger. But you're no fool. You've always been far too wise to venture into Scorpion Swamp. All your life you've heard tales of that awful marsh and its disgusting denizens. But the real danger of the swamp, so the tales go, is not the creatures that inhabit it, nor even the magicians and wicked men who haunt its paths. No, the reason that so few return from Scorpion Swamp is very simple. The swamp is crisscrossed by numerous trails that twist and turn in all directions. No one has ever mapped them and lived to tell the tale. Until now. We ain't gonna live. <laughs> An evil fog hides the sky so no one can set a course by the stars. Once you're well into the swamp, even compasses are unreliable. They may point north, west, or south by southeast, leading you round in circles until you drop from exhaustion. So you stayed well away from the swamplands, but although you don't know it yet, something is about to happen to change your fortunes. As you walk along the King's Highway, you come upon an old woman, crumpled in the dust. You carry her into the shade and give her a drink from your water skin. She soon revives, but you walk with her to the next town just to make sure that she'll be alright. You take your leave of her in the town marketplace. Bless you for your kindness, she says. Wear this with my good wishes and may you never lose your way. With that, she gives you a plain looking brass ring. When you slip it onto your finger, smiling your thanks, it feels loose. An hour later, as you walk down the highway again, you realize that it's altered its shape to fit Sour you perfectly. Ring. You have a magic ring. Thank you. <laughs> As you travel, you learn more about the Brass Ring's powers. The old woman must have been a powerful witch and she meant her blessing seriously. While you are wearing the Brass Ring, you will always know which way is north. Even in the deepest forest or in the twistiest town street, you will never be lost. Furthermore, the Brass Ring grows warm on your finger in the presence of evil. Even when you are greeted... So it's like Sting from Lord yeah. of the Rings, right? Even when you are greeted in a friendly fashion, you spend... That's stuff we're going to know who's in an enemy, like, all the time. Potentially. You spend a week with the forest bandits, rough men, but honest in their way, and the ring is cool. But in the caverns, it warns you of evil magic and of foul undead. And in the towns, you find that no clever thief or lying merchant can fool you. The old woman's gift is valuable indeed to an adventurer like you. So that's not optional, we're just giving that straight away. Yeah, that's like the ultimate hack. That's microtransactions, you yeah. can pay for that. Now you feel as though you ought to put the brass ring to some use worthy of its magic. Exploring Scorpion Swamp with its unmapped maze of trails might be the perfect task, and it might be profitable too. So with your mindset on glory and treasure, you set off towards the bogs and fens of Straight Scorpion to the bogs. Swamp. Now you come, turn. Oh. You come across an old woman, you soon realise it is Dame Judy Dench. You gasp at her fame of the more things once the yeah, she turns into a giant scorpion, but her head remains normal. A ring is warming. Yeah. <laughs> I do apologise to anyone who is watching this later on YouTube, but um, we haven't figured out a way to get the chat on stream right now, so we'll probably just be talking a load of random stuff to people in the chat, but next time we'll try and get it sorted. Yeah. Let's find Shrek, yeah. Donkey and Shrek. <laughs> so oh we've got pictures as well. Oh, I forgot we can show these off, so let's just read it first. The path that you must travel is a long one, for Scorpion Swamp lies to the far west of the kingdom. As you travel, you have many experiences that a less seasoned traveller would call adventures. To you, fighting orcs and goblins, defying evil wizards and slaying giant wolves are all in a day's work. I didn't say that, did I? Defying. No. <laughs> 
As you travel farther west, the mountains around you turn to hills, the hills to plains, and the plains to damp lowlands. You know that Scorpion Swamp cannot be far away. When you enter the little town of Fenmarge, no one finds you remarkable. Many travellers pass through here. Your sturdy helmet and sharp sword indicate you are a fighter not to be trifled with, but this is not uncommon. But when sitting in the local tavern, you announce your plan to explore the swamp. The listeners are dumbfounded. They cluster around you, pushing back the battered benches to make room. The swamp, they tell you, holds bones holds the bones of many as such of you. Not only is it trackless and infested with vermin, monsters and starving bandits, but a group of wizards calling themselves the Masters have recently claimed Scorpion Swamp for their own. One of them, the big burly man escorted by two great grey wolves, visited this very tavern last week. He didn't say much to tell you. They tell you, but he didn't seem the sort to welcome trespassers on his property. As the conversation continues, it's just the background. As the conversation continues, you realise that the villagers are sure you will die in the swamp. We can't let you go, they say. One even makes so bold as to put his calloused hand on your shoulder to restrain you as you start to walk out the door. Will you challenge them for their impertinence? Politely explain that you are determined. Back to the bone. Yeah. So, here's the picture first. It's very um, American werewolf in London. We've just walked into this tavern with all these dodgy dudes who are just staring at us and have stopped what they're doing. So, we have the option to challenge them for their impertinence or politely explain your determined let's be polite yeah we'll start off being good so turn to 95 here we go if they want to fight they can fight i'm not even going to comment on that <laughs> is that what's his name conor mcgregor i don't right? know Roadhouse. i don't know i've never seen it the villagers shake their heads as you turn towards the door but make no further attempts to dissuade you but before you reach the door, a villager blocks your path. He's a short, middle-aged fellow with a black beard cut square across the bottom. At first you take him for a farmer, but he seems more interested in you than any farmer should be. He takes your arm and leads you to a table in the corner of the tavern. The others have gone back to their chatting and you find yourself willing to hear what this quiet man will say to you. He introduces himself as Gronar. If you really intend to brave the terrors of the swamp, he says, you ought to have some purpose rather than random mapping and beast slaying. If you agree with him, turn to 240. If you disagree, turn to 122. What do you reckon? Mr. Square Bottom. So if we agree, we plan to do more than just kill monsters. If we disagree, we're just there to I kill I feel like we just, we, we sort of want to go in blind though. Yeah. But unless he gives us some form of quest. Starting point. What should we do then? Try and take purpose then. Should we? Let's let's do it. We're probably okay, going to we'll see what he, he might give us a quest line. Uh, if you agree with him, turn to two forty. Okay. Also, if anyone is watching who does follow or subscribe, anything like that, the alert box isn't also on here, so we're not going to know. So do let us know in the chat or something if you if you want us to shout it out or anything. You agree with Gronar, your journey would be more, much more interesting if you had a mission to accomplish as well, he nods. There are three men in this village now, he tells you, who cannot go into the swamp themselves, but each one has need of a strong fighter willing to venture there. The first of the three is an old wizard devoted to the cause of good. He stops to quaff a long draught of his mug. If you want to hear him out, turn to 205. If you want to interrupt him to say that you will serve only good, turn to 155. So, oh, so he's evil. No, he's he's good. But I'm guessing there's different quest lines from good and bad. I guess. So, should we hear him out? Yeah, go on. Two o five. Knowledge is always good in these books. Yeah, definitely. The more you know, the uh, the more equipped you are to go into the next scenario, or at least if you die, you can start again. You don't have to do it again. You can pick the other option. Okay, so we're gonna hear him out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gruna orders another pitcher of ale and settles back in his chair. Thelator is the good wizard, he says. Grimslade appears to serve the forces of evil, though a simple man like myself cannot be sure about such things. And Poomchucker... Poomchucker. Poomchucker is a very strange fellow indeed. No one knows much about him, but he is powerful. You have to be careful when we say that. 
Each of them has made it known that he seeks a champion to enter the swamp. More than that, you will not learn without visiting them. Will you help the good wizard Selator? Risk aiding the forces of evil if the prophet is right and visit the sinister Grimslade? Or take your chances with the mysterious Poomchucker? <laughs> Poomchucker. There's something about him. So we've either got, we can either follow Gandalf the Grey, Saruman the White, or is it Radagast the Brown, who is Boom Chucker? I think our ring is getting warm. <laughs> so what do you want to go for? Do you, do you want to find out what Boom Chucker's got? I do. I feel like we should help the good guy, but... Let's figure out Poom what Boom Chucker's got. I think we're gonna, we've got to go with Boom Chucker. Okay, page 27. Yeah. Maybe you can do all of these quest lines. If not, there's then... three. I, I read before. There's like three different quests in this book. And you, can you do them all in, in one place? No, I don't think so. Okay. Oh God, here's Boomchuck. Here, so. Oh my. Here we go. Living up to his name. He's like Baby Jones, but human. You might have to do it at the top camera. I think it's. Here That's go. better. Way better. That one never worked before, Magical. did it? We never used. To, it never used to work on the top. Yeah, one. no, it didn't. Okay, so. Gronor tells you to seek out Poomchucker in the village market. As soon as you enter the tangle of streets and shops, you are lost. You ask for directions several times, but eventually a group of laughing young boys escort you to a large house on the edge of the market. You knock on the door and it is answered by a goblin. Not a goblin warrior like those whom you have fought, but a goblin serving girl. She escorts you to a library where Poomchucker sits. He is one of the oddest men you've ever seen. Very tall and immensely fat with an elaborately braided beard and bright red skin. red skin. You tell him your story and ask if he is looking for someone like you. Yes, I am, he rumbles. But what makes you think you can live in Scorpion Swamp when so many others have died there? If you tell him about the old woman and the powers of the brass ring you wear, turn to two. Ooh. We started on page two, didn't we? No, I didn't see. That was in page one. Oh, okay. It's confusing. Um... If you simply smile and say you are a skilled fighter, turn to one seven three. I don't want to tell him our secret. Yeah, right? I mean he's supposed to be like neutral, but he looks really shifty, in my opinion. He might try and trick us if we tell yeah. him about the ring. A cunning linguist, <laughs> boom chucker. Right, uh, should we just say we're a skilled fighter? Yeah. Then? Okay, one seven three. If he doesn't want us, he doesn't want. Yeah. Do you reckon this is how difficult the quests are on this one? The part of it. Oh. He gives a deep rumbling laugh and you are certain that you see the bookshelves quiver. He is not at all offended by your reticence. In fact, he is now convinced that you are the fighter he needs. I will tell you my secret, he explains. I am not a wizard at all, but merely a merchant from another land. I have bought many powerful spells and artifacts, thus people believe that I am a mighty magician, and I let them think so because they treat me with more respect. You ask what Poomchucker wants in Scorpion Swamp. Information, he replies. If I had a map of the path through the swamp, I could send caravans through and save weeks and weeks of time in my trading. If you can bring me a map showing a clear path to the town of Willowbend on the mm -hmm. north side of Scorpion Swamp, I will pay you half the money that I saved during the first year. You realise that this could amount to hundreds of gold pieces, but you are still wise, wisely cautious. If you're not a wizard, what magic can you give me to help me survive the swamp, you ask. He laughs deeply. I told you that I buy many magical spells. Each of these gems here will let you cast one spell. Mm -hmm. He spills a box of glittering gems onto the table. You may pick any five to take. I do not think you should need that many, but I am generous. Turn to the magic spells section in the front of the book and pick any five spells, but choose only from the neutral list because that is the only sort of spell that Poomchucker oh, okay. has. Okay, so there's, I'm guessing there's good spells, bad spells. Okay. Yeah. Neutral. Neutral. Uh, list the spells on your adventure sheet. Uh, should we do that now? Yeah, okay. Before we carry we'll on? We'll just write these in our note. I think there might be like five neutrals, so should we just have like one, one of each? each? Yeah, it's in the front. Five oh, it? So we'll read out all the spells. We won't describe them until we use them again. Okay, neutral spells as skill, stamina, and luck. I won't write them down until. Mm -hmm. Um, fire, ice, and illusion. 
So there's six neutral spells. Okay. Right, so we get to pick five of these, so... Anyone else get the stream in 2160? Is it is it showing 4K if you if you swap between 1080p and 4K? Is there a difference? That's I'm the only streamer who can do that on Pro. Oh no, do we look really sweaty? <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we get there's a skill spell, and basically, if we've lost skill points and we use this spell, it recover half of our initial skill. Yeah. So ours is currently eight. So I guess if we're down to one. We go back to five. I feel like skill and stamina are important. Yes. Look, not so much. Yeah. So skill, stamina, and look basically do the same thing. They get you half of your initial skill, yeah. stamina, or look back. Rounded up. Fire. This spell will set one medium-sized object on fire. Yeah. The more inflammable the object, the better the spell will work. Yeah, so common it's like sense. Op no, it's opposites. Inflammable. Inflammable means not flammable, doesn't it? If something's flammable... Yeah, it, yeah, okay. That's strange. That's weird. So we use it against water. Okay, we'll, we'll see how it pans out. Uh, surely that's an error. Ice, this spell works by freezing water uh, or water vapour into ice. It works best when there is water already present to be frozen. See, that mm -hmm. one's like logical. Makes sense, yeah. Illusion, this spell will let you create one small, short-lived illusion. If you act in a way contrary to the illusion, the illusion will cease to fool anyone else okay. and will be dispelled. So we're going to take... All of them besides the luck potion, looks the looks bell. So yeah, okay. We've so we've got we'll... ice, fire, and illusion, skill, and stamina. So yeah. if we need to use them and need to retell you what they are, we will do. Uh, you shake hands with Poomchucker. His grip is surprisingly strong, and the goblin girl takes you downstairs. You walk through the busy market and across Fenmarge towards the swamp. Your quest is this: find your way north across the swamp to the town of Willowbend. And return to Poomchucker with the map. Turn to nine to start your journey. Okay. Uh, next option I can choose is 720. My laptop can't handle 4K. Oh, that's oh no. well, um, I'll try and sort it out if, it, if you can't. But then again, seven. it's only going to be 720 anyway. So you, you probably might as well just stick on 720. Very unique book, this one. The map is essential for you can go backwards. Yeah, that's what I heard. I heard this one is yeah, you can kind of retread your steps. Yeah. So we're going to go and start our journey. Oh, flammable and inflammable mean the same. Really? Okay, so it is the logical. If it's like, like paper, it'll flames. be. It, we yeah. should use it on it. Yeah. yeah. That would have, we would have really wasted them gems with that otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> Throw it into the lake. <laughs> okay. You are on the southern edge of Scorpion Swamp. So, right. Let's read this first, but we do have a new sort of experimental mechanic. We're going to see how it works, but you do have a, a map on screen that we're going to draw at the same time. We'll see how it's it goes. It's going to be horrendous, yes. but let's so give it a go. You are on the southern edge of Scorpion Swamp. Thanks to the brass ring, you will always know which way is north, but you must still make a map. You decide to map each path you follow and each clearing you enter, so that you will know which way to go if you return to the clearing. For hints on mapping, turn to page 21. You quickly find a path leading north into the swamp. A huge sign crudely painted on a boulder reads, Stop, Scorpion Swamp, Turn Back. A skull and crossbones completes the grisly picture. Bravely, you stride past the warning and enter the swamp. You can see that it would be foolish to step off the path into the muck, so you follow the trail where it leads. Okay, so... We have a map here. Is this going to be on here? You should see it there. Okay, right. So because we're heading north, should yeah. we start quite low down on the map? Yes. Should we start say here? Yes. Okay, so this is a starting point, and we're gonna go north. Yeah, I won't go make it too big. Oh, let's try the undo thing. Oh, can you tell I've never used this before? Okay, there we go. Okay, so we started from the south, and we're heading north, and we've just got to the sign, basically saying. Let's just have a look at this um, mapping tips thing. I've seen it. It's just like a line and then... So each clearing has got a number. Don't try really. Don't try. Yes, we're not doing that. <laughs> Later on. After we've finished half our drink. Right, okay. So, um, so we're following up north to 195. Okay. Are we going to get rid of this map every time or...? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you are in clearing one. 
Actually, this is no more than a wide spot where three trails meet. The ground is very shaky and wet and huge insects flit over the pools of water that dot the ground. If you want to step carefully across to another trail, turn to 58. If you would rather just jump over the soft part, turn to 91. I think we should step carefully across to another trail. Yeah, if it's, we're going to like sink in quick. So, what page are we on? So fifty-eight. And fifty-eight. Okay, let's see how this works with the map. And then can we'll I go, can we'll... I start doing the map? Yeah, you can. Well? Yeah, okay. you can. Yeah. Right. yeah. Right. So we're, this is clearing one. Okay. Okay. Test your luck. If you are lucky, you pick your way through the exit you choose. If you are unlucky, you make it, but only after tripping over a protruding root and banging your leg on a stone. Subtract one from your stamina. That's if you're unlucky. So for anyone who doesn't know, a luck roll we have to make every now and again is essentially we roll two dice and it has to be equal or Less lower than. than our luck score to be lucky. Anything over is unlucky. So let's go. So our luck is nine. Yay. So there we go. So deduct the luck. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> you have to hold it for longer. There we go. I need another stream deck. Okay. There we go. So, um, so we were lucky. Okay, basically just lose a stamina point if you're unlucky. So from here, we leave the clearing east, west or south. Oh, no. Well, is south not just where we came? So east, west or south. Yeah. Should we go east or west? Westward. Westward? Let's go west. Okay, I'll stick the map on while we're doing this anyway. So we're going west, 398. Yeah, I'm going to say, I'm going to put a little arrow say we've done this. Three, nine, eight. You enter a medium sized clearing containing a small house built of logs. You're in clearing four. If you've been here before, turn to 239. If you've not been here before, keep on reading. You hear the low growling of a dog, then you see that it is not a dog, but a wolf watching you from beside the house. The door opens and a big burly man steps out. Another wolf follows him. Is the man with the two gray wolves? How do you know that? Because it said it earlier. Did it? It's the last one who went into the spot. Oh. The man carries a sword and is dressed as a forester, but you know from the silver wolf amulet he wears that he is the master of wolves. Ooh. You hail him in a friendly fashion. He answers gruffly, ordering you away. Will you obey and leave, cast a spell, or attack him? Hmm. Should we just obey and leave? I'm just thinking if it's, it's our first, if it's our first run, should we try the spell or something? What spell? Illusion. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so we need to write clearing four, is it? Yeah. Oh, this is so hard to draw. Clearing four, and then it's Wolfman. Yes, so uh, we're going to try and cast a spell. Oh. This is Wolfman. So cast a spell. 191. Still need to remember if you use their illusion spell. Yeah, in fact, I haven't put the gems on, so I'll do that right now. So we have five gems. We're about to use one. So, which spell will use against will you use against the master of wolves? Fear, friendship, curse, fire, oh, or none of these. We've only got so the, fire. Yeah, a lot of these spells are if you're good or bad. So, should we? Should we not do that then? Yeah. Because yeah. I feel like if we use fire, he's going to end up fighting us anyway. Yeah. So let's go back to 398. This is an option, by the way. Go back to 398 and choose again. So we might as well... Do we obey him? I think we obey him. And we can always come back next time yeah. Yeah. when we've got the good wizard spell. We have the option to come back, don't you? It says if you've oh, been yeah. here before. Yeah. So um, obey him and leave. 314. I wonder where we're gonna go. I don't know. This is quite cool how you can go like, yeah. and you, you write down the clearing. It's been so hard to like write. Mm. 
His house is made of wood, nothing will annoy you more than burning his house down. Yeah, but what if his wolves set fire? Yeah, well, that's, we want him to die. Uh, he might be a good guy. Oh, true. You have two choices. If you go north, turn to page 90. If you go east, turn to 105. East? We... So I'm guessing it just works in the right way then. If we go east, we'll just go back to zone one, clearing one. Probably, but we want to go north anyway, yeah, so should we, we go north? Yeah, we want to go away from that, yeah. 90. And then at least once we've got like an idea or just like what all those clearings are, then hopefully it should Ooh, make more sense. This is good, I do it like yeah. this. You have crossed several shallow streams. Was it page 90? Yeah. You have crossed many several shallow streams, but now you're faced with a deeper one. This is clearing 34. 34. Yes. You see movement in the water below and you are not sure that you care to wade across, will you? Use the ice spell, use the wither spell, or wade across very carefully. We do have the ice spell. It's probably worth using to see how things work this early yeah, on. Yeah, do it. So, I'm going to use the ice spell, 370. I'm just going to write the river. I know what it says. Maybe you should just do like a, a, a drawing. Yeah. Okay, I can do drawings. Yeah, click back over there. Oh, are you gonna delete my river? Yeah, just draw some waves or something. Can I do it with the color? Uh, I wouldn't. Okay. It'd take too long. Maybe you can figure out how to do it then. Yeah. That's a wave. <laughs> I meant like just like flex three waves of you. It's really hard. I've never do, used this before. Do the blue. Do the blue. It make it more sense. Make yeah, sure you, you got the black. Can you like it. just turn the map off the screen so people? Have to it's not on the screen. Okay, that's all right then. This is new territory for us. It's, it, that's that's a that's a river. So that that in, looks like a river. Is that in clearing thirty four? Was it? Yeah. Okay. Right. So just to say, we have a wave. Yeah. Okay. Right. Use the ice spell, 370. And it's not just getting used to um, doing this whole map. The whole thing is we're trying to get back into it. So yeah. if this is a bit of a slow start for everyone, we'll try and we'll get back better. our form we'll a bit. The ice spell, right, how are we going to cross out the spells? Have you written what we've got? I've written them all down. Just put like a one next to that and then cross it out. Uh, the ice spell creates a solid bridge which you can cross easily. You may travel north or south from here. If you go north, turn to 157. Or you can go south. Um, south would probably take us back to zone 1, do you reckon? Yeah, uh, back to zone 4. Okay, um, what page are we on? Okay, so you may travel north, so we might as well go north to yeah. 157. Nice spell. So I wonder what was in the water. The path narrows menacingly. You wonder for a second if you've reached a dead end, then it becomes wider again. You step into a very small clearing. You are in clearing 18. Nice. 18. Oh. Wait. Oh. Go on, undo. How many more times? I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Don't, yeah, just don't put the pen down until you're ready to write. That was my... It's doing it anyway. It's doing it. Like, I'm not even touching it. See? Move it to where you want it. Yeah. That's not gonna work. It's drawing all the time. Okay, like that. Okay. I think it was a button being pressed. All right, we're gonna to have to screw the map off. We're for we're not gonna use the map for the rest of the video. Oh, there we go. It's working now. Okay, we're in clearing 18. Yep. If you've been here before, turn to 279. If you've not been here, keep reading. You see several unusual trees around you. They are dark green and rather small, with snaky limbs. Suddenly you realize each limb ends in a sword. 
They are moving. You are being attacked by the dreaded sword trees. Mm. They are all around you now. If you want to fight them with your own sword, turn to 28. If you want to try and use a magic spell, should we burn them? Yeah. Okay, turn to page two or three. I, was like, I hope they actually burn. Well, it would make sense to be a, a spell to set our tree on fire, right? Against these uncanny enemies, you decide to use magic. You can try fire, wither, growth, or none of these. So wither would be good as well. Yeah, 75. I just hope they're actually made out of tree. Got to be. 75. You cast a fire spell on the sword trees. They writhe in anger but are not badly hurt. Turn oh. to 28 and fight. Subtracting two from the stamina of the trees before you start. So, 28. So, this is going to be our first battle. Woo! I don't think we've got any images of tree men, but you know, I'm doing the buttons, aren't I? Okay, so, you can take this, 28. So, tree man. I think the best we got is a swamp monster. Hey, that's quite tree. I am Groot, yeah, basically. Groot with a sword. So, um. Oh, there is. Have you read this already? No. There are several sword trees, but you may fight them as a single opponent. You are lucky in that they cannot see you. They attack by sound. However, there are several trees, each with many bladed branches. If you defeat them, turn to 362. Otherwise, you will no doubt become fertilizer okay. for the trees. So, a skill of 10. N uh, because we take two off, because we just used a spell. Uh, a stamina of so, 10, sorry. Yeah. Skill of 9. Oh, they're big. Better than us. Stamina ten. No. Yeah, ten. Yeah. Okay. Ready to battle then. Yeah. So for anyone who doesn't know how this works, we'll explain as we go. So we each take turns. We will have the yellow dice, the enemy is the black dice, and we take it in turns. So essentially we have to roll both dice and match our skill to the enemy's skill. So they have nine, we have eight. So let's just go for it and we'll explain it. Well, so. so we have a skill of ten. They're, they've beaten us already. Yeah, so because the enemy is on nine, if they, they can't roll less than two, so they already take damage off us. So. Oh, oh yeah. Did it work? No. This is going to be quite slow, isn't it? I think you have to hold it longer than that. It's not working at all. It's not working. 16. Oh, there you go. There yeah. we go. Were we on 15? We're on 15, we? Yeah. Yeah, we are having a few teething problems getting this back in order, but... We need a bigger stream deck. Yeah, we do. Right. Okay, so, because we lost, we lost two stamina points, you always lose two, unless it's told otherwise. So here we go, I'll roll again. Oh, that's better. Okay, so that's five. 16. 16 for us. Enemy roll now. Get that's good. Oh, the blood's still on the screen. <laughs> this is really shocking. There, there we, we go. go. We win. So, right, so we take two more damage for that because we suck. You have to hold it longer than that. There you go longer than that like a good few seconds right okay i'll roll 12, 12 for us that might be an early death 10 oh, oh yes. finally the... so enemy is down to eight stamina points okay i'll roll Nine plus eight is seventeen for us. Oh, oh no! I take it the blood's not working. I've not been doing it because I don't think it's going to come back. There we go. Yeah, getting we are wrecked. getting ready. Oh yeah, we're only one skill point behind. Oh, it. look, there we go. Oh. Sixteen for us. 11. Yay! The blood's for them as well. Okay. 
should put the blood in the middle. That's good. I was going to do two, but then we don't have space for two bloods, so. Mm. I'll roll. 12 for us. Oh, no. What's that? He's beating us. 13. Ugh. At least we've had, like, a little getting used to the stream. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we do apologise for it maybe being slightly slower than usual, but... We are getting back to grips with it, so what's that, seven? Fifteen? Fifteen for us. Eleven. Sixteen. <laughs> this. We told, we lied to him, we told him we were a skilled fighter and we didn't need to. No, anymore. we're not very skilled right now. Okay, I'll roll again. Fourteen. Fourteen. Ten. Uh, uh, 15. We are going to die. Potentially. Can we use our stamina potion in, in the middle of a fight? Probably not. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. 17. 17 for us. 16. Oh, okay. 15. 15. 15 for them. 17. 17. There we draw. go. So we have a draw, so no points are taken. Here we go. 13. 13 for us. Enemy roll. No! <laughs> right, we don't Oh, that HP. was shocking. Oh, we're still alive. I didn't realise. Come on. Our roll, last one. Could this hey, be the end? 14. 14 for us. 12. Three Come on. More successful Come on, we can attacks. do it. We can do it. We've got him. Let's go. Nice. 18 for yeah. us. 12. Yes, yes. I roll. 17. Ten, yeah, we did it. Seven, yes. There we go. Break through. We have barely. one HP yeah, then. Maybe we should use our, our gem. So, uh, yeah. what's next? Uh, if you defeat him, turn to 362. I don't know how we made it through that. Do we use our gem? Yes. Can we use it at any time? Yeah. I think so. So we've used our fire, we've used Clap, our yeah. ice. <laughs> Easy. Uh, we're going to use our stamina. stamina. Which will get us up by, let's, should we go up to seven? Should we go up by seven? What was? What did we start on? Fifteen. Yeah, you round it up. Yeah, so eight, so got back eight. up to eight. Whew. Do you want me to read this next part? Yeah. You skillfully wield your mighty sword. The sword trees are no match for your prowess. <laughs> Just about. And soon each reaching limb has been locked off. You look around the clearing. You find nothing except a few seeds that look as though they might have come from the sword trees. You pocket them and go on. So we've got sword tree seeds. Sword tree seeds, okay. Turn to page 22. I'm just going to put tree seed. Okay, that's item number one, and we have three seeds, okay? Okay, 22. Even as you pocket the seeds, you see new growth stirring at the base of the trees. You leave quickly, so I'm guessing if you come back, they grow back again. Yeah. Okay, so uh, will you go north, south, or west? North. North? Uh, yeah, or do you want to do something different? Let's go west. West? Yeah, let's, because north is where we need to go, so if we go further west. Wow, that is dark, kill them and take their young, yeah. <laughs> so we're going west? Okay. Yes, so turn to page 11. Has it got a clearing number? Yeah, I'll read this. As you walk west, the swamp becomes even grimmer 
as just as you think that you can stand it no longer the path begins to widen and you find yourself in a long narrow opening this is clearing six if you've been here before turn to 210 um, if you've not been here before keep reading you look around and see no other paths you appear to have come to a dead end you walk towards a large grey boulder hoping to rest on it for a minute suddenly the boulder moves oh, you are no. not looking at grey stone at all but coarse grey hair red eyes glare at you and a dire beast with six claws, clawed legs moves towards you will you fight it run for your life or try a magic spell is it a werewolf it's got six legs hairy thing with six legs should we try and see if we can use an illusion spell on it? If it gives us the option. Um, has it got its... Have we not already tried to use our illusion spell? Oh, no, we didn't. No, we didn't, no, we didn't. use it. Yeah, let's see Fancy it mapping is. technology. Yeah, we're trying. We're trying. Okay, so <laughs> try 374. I think if we can get it working on my actual tablet, it might be a bit easier. I just need to hold it, I think. It's like awkward going up there. Yeah, it's you got to look at a screen at the same time as well. So, A monster like this, you realise it's best fought with magic. Which spell will you try? So fear, illusion, growth, friendship, or none of these. So yeah, we've, got we've got illusion, so we're going to try that. 60. We've nearly used all our spells already. Yeah, but you can find more gems during the playthrough, so... You decide to try an illusion spell. Thinking quickly, you create the illusion of a helpless villager running for the trees in front of the dire beast. The bloodthirsty creature turns towards the easy prey nice. and you let the illusion vanish again. While the dire beast is preoccupied, you slip quietly down the trail back the way you came. Turn to 279. Okay, so that's a dead end. Yeah, so we're heading back to 18. 279. And unless you have get to kill it. Yeah, unless you get something from killing it, which we'll. I suppose we'll have to find out on a different place. Unless we, well, we can come back, can't we? Yeah. And we probably can't use the illusion again. Yeah, but some are dead ends as well, so... Yeah. What page? 279. To your dismay, the deadly <gasps> sword trees have already grown back. <laughs> you want to fight with your sword, turn to 28, if you prefer to use magic. To no, we don't it. have a magic spell now. No, we can still use it. We do have one gem left. Oh, no, we only picked... Yeah, we picked yeah, some we, Yeah. Are we going to fight them again? We're going to have to. We're going to die. Yeah, let's just let's do this real quick and see if we get through or not. Twenty-eight. Yes. So same principles before the same the battle, but this time they're gonna have uh, twelve stamina instead of nine. Oh uh, no! Instead of ten. So here we yeah, go. Yeah, nine and twelve. But we've got the seeds. I don't think that means much. <laughs> Surely there's like a bargain in there somewhere. Okay, there we go. You ready? Yes. I'll roll. Well, Twelve for us. Well, he's already won. <gasps> At least the blood work in there. Yeah. The stamina just takes way too long. Okay. <laughs> uh, what's that? Six. Fifteen. Fifteen for us. Fourteen. Fourteen. Seems to roll a one. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should have written our base scores then. I think we should start again and re-roll because we rolled some shocking yeah. time. Yeah, we've got Someone set the respawn rate a little too high, it's not <laughs> Don't worry, we can buy like a, a ten times XP and we can get through it quicker next time. Yeah. Ooh, oh, 18. 18 for us. Yay! There we go. Finally some luck. We'll probably scrape through with one stamina again. Probably. No, we won't. Was that six? Fourteen for us? Thirteen? Oh, no. Last little bit of health. Okay, here we go. Come on. Fourteen again? Oh, we're dead. We have become fertilizer for we the have trees. Been fertilized by the sword trees. 
I guess okay. we better start again and re-roll. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's re-roll our stats and start again. So for anyone, usually we do this just to save a bit of time before we, we go live. So who would have thought a place called Scorpion Swamp would be so unpleasant? Oh, I know, right? So yeah, we're going to roll our stats now. So it's uh, one dice. I'll do skill. Okay. So one dice plus six equals our skill score. Look at that. So six plus six is twelve. So yeah, we're definitely over. If we ever roll that like off stream, we never yeah. we always re-roll because we feel like people won't believe us. Yeah. So we have a skill twelve in the flesh live. A dice cam's actually working. It's actually re pre-recorded. <laughs> yeah. Stamina is two dice plus twelve. Yes. So let's pull for all of these. Five plus twelve, seventeen. It's better than 17, before. Seventeen. Yeah. That's just me pressing the button 17 times to get all my stamina up. Okay, look. yeah, you roll the luck one. This is the same as skill, so 4 yeah, plus can. 6 and 10, so it's also better than last time, so we're already in a better position. Yeah, and we have no gems. Are we doing the same thing, Mr. Poom Chugger? Are we gonna... I would say just do the exact same thing again. Yeah. So let's just speed back up to where we were. Okay, so um, do you remember what page we started from? Is it like 7 or something? Find a picture of Poom Chucker. There we go, that was easy. <laughs> um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Or should we just do the exact same thing up and fight the sword trees? Oh, because you need to use your magic spells, don't you? Yeah, because it, it was the... Um... Turn to nine to start your journey. Right, what about the wolfman, though, as well? Um... Hold the trail, 195. Do you want to attack the wolfman? He's got two wolves. But we've also got skill 12 this time. Uh, should we just try and jump over the soft part? Yeah. We're you... going to be using these stats from now on anyway, because they're good. So, um, we might as well try some things. Because even if we die, we go back to the beginning. We, uh, oh, no. What? We lose a skill point. Oh, no, we don't. Right. Can we read it? Yeah. Well, two dice. If the result is equal to or less than your stamina, you may you made the jump. 17, I was thinking we had full mana. So. So, roll two dice. Yep. And then what? Uh, if the result is equal to or less than your stamina, we yeah. made the jump. It's always going to be, isn't it? Otherwise, you fell short, caught your leg in the mire, and twisted your arm. Subtract one point. Right. So you may now leave the clearing. Will you travel west, east, or south? So, so we, did we go a different way? We went um, west. west so should we go east? Yeah, let's go east yeah. and see what's down there. 105. So we'll avoid the wolf man entirely. Yeah. Ahead of you is a clearing unlike the last one you found. The ground seems to be solid. This is clearing 12. Really? You've, if you've been here before, turn to 3.30. If you've not been here before, keep reading. You see several flat stones. So what can you undo? Sorry. Um... You see several flat stones, a huge hollow tree, and two other paths leading out. Will you sit down and rest on a stone, investigate the hollow tree, or leave the clearing immediately? Should we check out the hollow tree? Well, the picture is the hollow tree. Yeah, so this is the image on the page. It's the hollow tree with the stone. So, I mean, we're probably going to get ambushed if we sit on the stone. Should we try and go in the tree and see what happens? Yeah. Just to see. There might be something hidden in there that we need another gem or something. I'm here, God knows what happened to my notifications. Don't worry, John. Um, it's been a bit of a shambles. Yeah, we've been trying to get this working. Um, we also have a map now on screen, John, if it's ever working and we do it correctly, but... Um, <laughs> it's both. No, 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 no. I mean, like, it's it's, it's tough to manage. Um, at least we can keep using this and using the clearings, so even if yeah, we die. Yeah, I know, I was map. thinking that. Uh, what page were we just on? Can you investigate the tree? lost the page oh no go to the tree, got the tree picture 55 that was it warily you step over to the tree before you reach it a rank odor warns you that this is the den of some large animal you step backwards as an enormous bear pokes his shaggy head oh, no. out of the hollow tree if you run away turn to 390 if you want to fight the bear turn to 200 should we fight uh, him? i was gonna say should we run away there might be something in the hollow tree this is the tree not the bear <laughs> yeah but we also have skill 12 now. 
Oh yeah, should we fight it then? Let's try him. If you want to fight the bear, turn to 200. I'm going to run. That's a map. It's somewhat of a map, John. We are using a... Um, bear. We're using a drawing tablet, which you have to look at the screen whilst drawing. And we have a cramped desk, so it's not ideal, but it's what we've got if you guys want to see our progress on the map. So we're fighting it? Yes. Yo, Empire, how you doing? Hey, Empire. Hope you're well. You have killed many beasts and monsters. A bear doesn't frighten you at all. Yeah. You shout a taunt at it and raise your sword. This is like Dragon's Dog, isn't it? Yeah. You're coming across giant beasts. If the bear starts to get the better of you, you can escape and run for any of the passways. Mm -hmm. uh, if you kill it, turn to page 69. Perfect, okay. Love the skull. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that is our... Oh, we haven't done a death counter. Oh, yeah, we're dying. So, let's see if this works and hopefully it doesn't mess up. Oh, yeah. Ominous. So, we've died once, right? Yeah, once. For now. We will die many. We're back in business. There many we go. Times. Good man, how are you guys? Yeah, we're doing well. Thanks for uh, stopping by, Hempai. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. Hey, Lost. Hey, Lost. I, I, it beats the maps I see drawn in books and pencils. Not in it, surely, <laughs> yeah, right. <surely. laughs> okay, right. We're going to fight the bear. Yes. Okay, here we go. Do his, we have a bear? His. Oh, have we? I don't know. Let me see. No, but we've got this thing. Uh, where is the... So you have a toad. Oh, it's not working. Hold on. As per usual. What about the toad? Toad will yeah, have to do. Yeah, that'll do. Just imagine it's brown yeah. and furry. And a bear. <laughs> and not a thorn. Um, his skill is seven and his stamina is eight. Okay. Bear me one second. My screen deck is very soon. Ah, good one. Oh. Okay, so enemy skill is seven. Seven and eight. He's not. Like, how is a bear like weaker than some trees? I don't know. Eight stamina, you say? Yeah. Eight, eight? Seven, eight. Dun, dun, we should have like elevated music while we do that. Yeah. One day we will have this running like clockwork. Okay. Ready? Yes. All good since I jumped in your stream, so I thought, yeah. I well, appreciate it, dude. Have you ever thought about live streaming? Have you done it for a while? Just use Paddington. Okay, so here we go. We're fighting the bear. Back rug. Oh no, our dice cam's not working. Come on, can we catch a break? Can we catch a break? We could just pretend we've got that score every time. Um, Didn't that happen? That used to happen quite a lot on the last stream we did, didn't it? Yeah, well, we're just going. I think it's working now. Okay. Yes. Oh, I mean. <laughs> okay, 12. 16. 15, 16 for us. 13. 13. 14, 15, oh, 16. Even. even Stevens. We'll get back to streaming, holding off for the moment. No worries, dude. What are you thinking of streaming? If you do get back to it. 19. 19 for us, so that is a 19 at best. So. Yay! Come on. Um, two up him? Yeah, he's down to six stamina. There we go. Okay, our roll again. Oh, That's you can't beat be that. Yeah, yeah, so. I wonder if there's any buttons we can... Take off first. Well, maybe it's just quicker typing it. It's set to a file now, though. Mm. Ready? More platinum streams, I'm sure. We need to have a little chat about stream. Yeah, okay, we'll have to get onto that at some point, dude. I don't think he can beat that, can he? 20? 8 plus 12, 20. No, I can get 19 at yeah. that. So. This bear, this green bear. Green toad like bear, he's getting hammered. Again, we go, we did. he's dead. Okay, so uh, mm -mm, if you kill him, turn to page sixty-nine. 
We've got to get something from this tree stump. You have slain the den. Uh, slain the bear. You search its den, but you find nothing of value. Oh, so no! Oh, well. Worth doing to check out anyway. I'm going to put a little cross X on here, as in don't bother going in there. Yeah. I wonder what happens. I reckon if you sit on the stone, you get attacked by it. Probably. You have a choice of three paths. They all seem rather swampy and hazardous. Will you go north, east, or west? Should we continue east? Yeah, go on then. Go nine. I'll get the uh, the number of the thingy. You continue to walk eastward for some time. Ahead, you see a clearing with a small pool. You are in clearing 25. If you've been here before, turn to 168. If you've no. not been here, keep reading. You walk closer to investigate, and a great brown rubbery creature rears up from the pool and lashes at you with its tentacle. You jump backwards. The pool beast shambles after you. Is it the, is it the it book cover? It is. The pool beast shambles after you. You see a beautiful violet jewel glinting in its forehead. Will you run away? Yeah. Attack with your sword or cast a magical spell. So you can see the cover down there, but this is the actual artwork of the pool beast here. Right. Do we have our um, spells then? We have all our spells, yeah. Do you want to try a spell? Yes. Oh, what are you doing? I'm drawing a oh, picture. Shit. I'm just going to draw a little gem in his head and then you can have it back. Okay, change your colour back. Okay. Okay, right. Map can go. Um, there. There, yeah. We don't have electricity, unfortunately. How about skinning a bear and taking its pelt? I mean, a minute ago you are picking up random seeds. Yeah, we stop and just do whatever we want. <laughs> Cast a magic spell. 34. I'll Ooh. give it to you. What spell? Oh, ice? Possibly. If he's in, it's a pool uh, beast, right? So the spells we can use are wither, fire, fear, or none of these. I feel a bit silly using fire because it's in water. Well, it's like a bug as well. Pool beast. It's not going to work, is it? No. None of these. None of these, and we'll have to fight with swords. Zero nine. Uh, attack with your sword. We can run away. Mm, let's try and take it out. It's okay. got the jewel. We need the jewel. Page 82. How do you know we need well, the jewel? I'm guessing we need the jewel. Unless it's just valid. Maybe you use it as currency. Uh, mm. 82. The jewel looks valuable, so you draw your sword and attack the beast. It strikes you with its rubbery tentacles. Pool mm. beast. Has he got pool noodles? He's got, yeah, that's what his limbs are made of. Uh, pool beast, skill 8, stamina 10. If you want to escape and run back to the west, turn to 330. If you kill the beast, turn to 308. I'll give you this. Quite a lot of, like, runaway options. Yeah. Stamina 10. Yeah, skill 8, stamina 10. We got a pool beast. Wait, um, did you think ahead and get a pool beast? I don't think we got a pool beast. I think we're gonna have to use swamp monster again. We could use a toad. There we go. He's on. Have to do. Okay. Ready? Yes. Ice can work at the pool beast versus the party animals. Nineteen. Nineteen for us. Uh, 11. Eight, I don't know. 11, 17, no, so that's a... What did we get? 19? Yeah, we beat Okay, that's a win. Here we go. 19. Oh, we did it! Yes. We did it! The pool beast is going down. Slowly. Very slowly. <laughs> 17. Mm -hmm. 10. Yeah! Five. Okay. 16, 18. 17, 18 for us, so 10 or lower. See, why couldn't the trees go down like this? I know. They're going to be back next time we go through there as well. You need to take one more stamina off. Yeah. Won't be cheating us out. There we go. 17. Oh. He... Yes, he's dead. Okay. Uh, where was he? What page? If you kill the beast, turn to 308. Oh, 
At last the pool beast is dead. You use your sword to cut the great violet jewel from its forehead. Then you leave the clearing. The only exit takes you back to the west of 3.30. So uh, let's okay. give ourselves the violet jewel, is it? Yeah. The beast folded like a broken deck chair. <laughs> I thought he was going to be like the main enemy, like the big boss at the end. He is the cover. I thought that was the scorpion. I was like, is that supposed to be a scorpion? <laughs> yeah. It didn't look like a scorpion. Okay, so we're going back to 3.30. Back to the west. You were in the clearing with the great hollow log. If you saw a creature here earlier, turn to 129. If you did not see what lived in the log, turn to 368. So 129. Wonder if you haven't seen it, it just gives you the same options as yeah, before. Yeah, we won't have to fight it now, will we? No, hopefully not. But <laughs> dead, unless it's like an undead bear. A zombie bear. If you killed the bear, turn to 268. If you ran from it, turn to 181. So if you ran from it, I'm guessing you have to fight it again. So turn to... But isn't 268 what it just told us to go to? I'm not sure. 268. No, it can't be. You see nothing in the clearing this time except for a few gnawed bones. You hurry on your way, turn to page 390. Turn to 390, so that should be the options of where to go, I guess. Yeah. You have a choice of three paths that all seem rather swampy and hazardous. So we went east last time, didn't we? Yeah. So we can either go west, which we've already been west. Should we go north? Then we should end up like here. Wait, have we not? No, we went east to the tentacle monster. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go. let's go... But west, so west will take us um, back to where that pool is, right? Well, around here, we haven't actually been to this west yet. Should we go there then? Should we go west? Oh, it's going to mess my map up, but we can. I'd rather just find out what's on the map. Okay, yeah, let's, let's try it, try and do it. Yeah. You're in clearing one. You... Oh, yeah, so that takes us back to here. Okay, so maybe just... Do you remember what page we were on? When? Just then. Because we could just go north instead. 390. Should we just do that and go north then? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're going to go north from there, 144. I'm getting the hang of this map. Good, good. You notice that your path is crisscrossed by spider webs. Oh. There is a clearing ahead. Even before you enter it, you can see the surrounding trees are thickly festooned with webs, and there are many spiders there. You're in clearing 17. Okay. If you've been here before, turn to three, four, five. If you've not been here, been here, keep reading. In the centre of the clearing, there is a sumptuous pavilion which seems to float above the marshy ground. It is silver grey and shimmers like woven spider silk. Seated in the pavilion is a tall man. He is his thick beard and eyebrows are white, and his robe is as silver grey as his tent. Around his neck hangs a gleaming silver spider amulet. You know that you are in the presence of the master of spiders. As he regards you from his burning green eyes, you feel your brass ring warning you of evil. Will you oh, cast no. a magic spell, attack him immediately, immediately, or talk to him in a friendly fashion? So this is the master of the spiders. He looks pretty dangerous. Do you think a fire spell will burn him if he's all wearing spiders? Maybe, yeah. I don't know if he's wearing the spiders. His, it says it's like his, his robe is like the same colour as his suit. Ooh. So he's evil, obviously. If we try and talk to him friendly... We're not going to get us anywhere. So, do you reckon we try and burn him? Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah? Okay, cast a magic spell, turn to 74. So, uh, what spells have we used? None. Yeah. None. You decide to combat the evil master of spiders with a spell. Which one will you use? So, you can use friendship, mm -hmm. curse, fire. Nice. So, use fire on him. One, yes. one, three. I'm just going to make him a Spider Man guy. Spider Man. To, uh, what's it called? Mad and Web. It's not that easy. Dreadful. It occurs to you that spider webs are very inflammable. You cast the fire spell on the master of spiders. Instantly, his robes catch fire. He yeah. screams horribly and falls to the ground. The flame spreads throughout the clearing. Spread sheets of fire rush up the trees, incinerating the foul creatures that lurk here. The heat is so intense that you, you abandon any idea of collecting loot. Okay, so oh, the potential no. loot there. Your only thought is to escape. 
You lose three stamina points due to the burns as you rush from the clearing. Three stamina points? Yes. So, yeah, there could be something good there, couldn't there? It says, like, you, you can't look for loose, so there's got to be something there. We've lost our stamina points, and you rush off to the clearing, so turn to 165, and we'll see where this takes us out to. So, just for clarification of the map. I did what? a little spider on What is that? Is that a spider on 25? No, no. No, that's a swamp monster. Like a monster. With a little jewel in his head. Yeah, I thought I was an octopus for a second. What page did you say? Uh, 125, is it? 165. 165. There are only two exits from this clearing. If you go north, turn to 388. If you go south, go to 105. We've already been south, so... Mm -hmm. 388, we're going north. After a short walk, you enter a pleasant grassy clearing. There are two exits. Exit. I don't know what I just said. This is clearing 24. If you've been above, have you been here? If you haven't, keep reading. You stand still for a moment, looking around you. Then you realise that there is something strange about this grass. It is growing up around you so fast that you can see... Oh, that we could have done with that fire spell right now. Oh, no. You realise that there is something strange about this grass. It is growing up around you so fast you can see the movement. As you watch... You see nippers form at the end of the stalk. They <laughs> snap at you. You are in the middle of a patch of crab grass. If you attack it with your sword, turn to 134. If you want to use magic, turn to 167. So we don't really have... I don't think we have any magic. We can Ice. Use. I know there's no water, but it's a plant. And plants die with reason. Worth a shot. Worth a shot just to narrow it down. If we can use it. Clearing 24, how romantic. Try it. Yeah, okay. 167. It might work if you freeze it, you can just snap it off, right? Oh. Oh. You could have used fire. These spells seem appropriate. We can try wither, fire, or neither of these. Like, what if we took two fire spells? You can. You can take as many spells as you want. Should we say we did? And have a drink? We haven't cheated no, no, yet. No, no, we haven't no. cheated today yet. We don't need to cheat right <laughs> We do. No, we're going to use our sword. It's not going to work. One, three, four. Well, let's. We'll take a drink and check if we die. If if we die. <laughs> the crab grass. You've probably not said that since we last streamed. Finally. We need a button for it. You hack at the crab grass with your sword. The nippers are easy to cut down, but more keep growing up around you. Mm -hmm. Fight the hungry lawn as though it was a single opponent. Okay, that's manageable. Have you got? Did you remember to? Get a picture for crabgrass. <laughs> no, we're using swamp the monster again. He's got grass on. Okay. Crabgrass. Its skill is six, and its stamina is sixteen. I'm not even joking. Its stamina is sixteen. That's going to be a lot. Of oh god. Knickers, nippers. Knickers. Yeah, the crab's got its own knickers on. What's the stamina on it? Sixteen. Oh god. Sure, you don't want to cheat with that fire spell? Yes. Because we're gonna. We're, Highly likely we're going to win it every time. You're going to have uh, biceps on your thumb after putting that. I know. Okay, right. Let's do this quick then because yes, okay. what can they get as a maximum? 12, 6? Small. Should we 18? just roll them both at the same time? Yeah. 14. <laughs> 14. 8 is 5. 13. <laughs> I thought Mast. it was going to be easy. Yeah, but it's only because we got really small and they got really yeah, big. Yeah, we do, yeah. So, oh, that's like, my fault. <laughs> that was quite good. 7 oh. plus 12. He's got 16. We've got more Yeah, we've that. beaten. We've beaten. This is hardcore grass. <laughs> Use talk and say nice nippers. <laughs> they might grow even faster than Koma. <laughs> Let's go. Yay! 18, yeah, so they can, can't get more than 18 anyway. Don't forget the good old dream cheese in oh, every yeah. game. Maybe the, the crabgrass is like addicted to dream cheese. Who wouldn't be? That's a win, yeah. right? Thumping this grass. Wow, we've been able to kill some grass. <laughs> We're a fierce warrior who's tackled goblins and bears, but... It's crabgrass. It's 18 for us, so I they think, can't get that. Yeah, we've done it. We've done it. 
get the hang of this uh, button press, but it's still too long. Yay! There we go. It's another win. I wonder why the dice cam went off. Has it gone off now? No. Oh, it has. Oh, no. <laughs> Hold on. When did that go off? Only like a second ago. Oh, right, I just okay. said that. There we go. I don't know if I can see my drink for a split second. Yeah. That's yeah. a win. Come on, last one, hopefully. Yay, we beat it. There we go. Crab grass is done. Uh, if you cut down the crab grass, it turns to 81. The final boss is over with. You have destroyed the crab grass. You have no doubt it is dead. You search the clearing on the tree. On a tree, you find some scorched lettering. Beware of the orcs. That is all. You leave turn to 187. Mm. It's 24 the crabgrass then? Yeah. Okay. So we can... Where, where, where have we gone? Did you say you'll leave? I'm guessing it's north again. Yeah, we'll see. There are three exits oh, yeah. from the clearing. Will you go south, east or west? Well, south will south, be back down yeah. there, I guess. Should we go east? Yeah. yeah. West will take us back central. Yeah. Let's like check out the outskirts, I guess. So we're gonna go west yep. past the crabgrass. Oh no, page east. 10. East. This. Was east page ten? No, east is two ninety. Two ninety. Mighty warrior or gardener, you decide. Mm. Right? We've already become fertilizer, and we've done the fertilizer. Wait, that doesn't make sense. It does. You can see signs that others have walked this way recently. Ahead is another clearing. This clearing is 26. Have we been to 26? No. no. If you've been here before, 23 to 3. If you've not been here before, keep reading. As you enter the clearing, an arrow whizzes past your head. You see three mangy looking swamp orcs armed with bows. Look at them, their little bellies. Nice. <laughs> the other two let their arrows fly. If you have the golden magnet charm, turn to 83. If you do not have it, turn to 151. I bet that's what you get from that Spider-Man clearing. You reckon? Maybe. If you do not have it, turn to 151. So we don't. What clearing is this? 20... 26. So, uh, yeah. 26. What do we need? Orcs or something? Um, what do we need? Uh, swamp. Golden magnet. Just draw a magnet. A golden magnet. Yeah. Yeah. You keep reading. Okay. Got it. I got it. I'm too. I'm too like interested Worry. in your picture. Um, <laughs> if you do not have it, ten to one five one. Okay. Oh, where's my white axe? Oh. You dodge to the side. One arrow misses you. The other nicks your arm. Lose one skill point. So we've lost a skill point there. <laughs> what? Is that a magnet? Is it? <laughs> Is that the dream cheat? <laughs> so hard to draw. So we've lost a skill point, so we'll try and avoid doing this next time. Okay. We die. And so we can either attack with your sword, use a magic spell, or run for your life. Should we try and run for our life? Or should we use like an illusion spell or something? Should we try illusion? Yeah. 399. I hope it works on multiple. Horrigengai, hey, how you doing? Long hey, time. Hey, Horrigengai. 309. Oh, no, we're not running. We're using a magic spell. Using a magic spell, 399. Yeah, long time, dude. It's been a long time for us to stream as well, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, which spell will you use against the Swamp Orcs? You can use Illusion. So you can use Fear or Illusion, that's it. So we've only got Illusion, so we'll use that. 169. So we've already used one gem, haven't we? So uh, I'll get rid of the Fire spell and the Illusion spell now. Oh, no. Is it 169? 169. You use your illusion spell to create an image of a poisonous snake between yourself and the orcs, but they do not seem upset. They advance on you, and when one of the orcs bends over, smacking his lips, he tries to grab the snake. What? You know what you, you know that you picked the wrong illusion. Turn to 281 and fight. Okay, so you want to read that? So we should have just we should have just bought him. Yeah, here it has ships passing in the night. What's this? What's this game? So this is um, fighting fantasy. These are the RPG game books from the 80s, where it's like choose your own adventure. And this one is Scorpion Swamp. 
as you can tell from the giant scorpion. Oh, no. so we're trapped in uh, a dungeon. Well, a, a swamp. swamp. Full of scorpions. Your skill is set to zero at the minute. I don't know how that happened. Well done. Oh, what was it's skill 12, on? remember? 11. 12? 11. Oh, 11. Did we lose one? Yeah. I'm sure we were counting it as 12 in the, that other fight. We were. No, we only just lost it a minute ago. Okay. You charge the swamp orcs. They're surprised at your bravery, but they drop their bows and grasp their own weapons. You are fortunate that they are not skilled fighters because they all attack you at once. Oh, great. First swamp orc skill... Do we have to... Right, each swamp orc will have a separate attack on you in each attack round, but you must choose which of the three you'll fight. Okay, so we roll for all three of them. Mm -hmm. How can we speed this up? Know. So skill six, seven, and six. Ooh. Should we just pick the one with the highest skill? Yeah, and make him have a higher stamina. And add all the staminas up. Yeah. So yeah. The, the fourteen plus five is nineteen. Nineteen. So we're gonna fight one orc with nineteen stamina. Yeah. To make it a little bit easier. So and we're using the highest skill just to make it. What's the skill? Seven. But we'll just do it like one on one. Fight. Yeah. I'm just waiting for the stream deck to update. Okay. You think it's different adventurer in every book? I'm pretty sure some books are connected and you're the same person. Yeah, I don't know. I've, I suppose it's just supposed to be you, isn't it, really? So. We've been through through a lot, haven't we? Yeah, I mean, the new one, Shadow of the Giants, like, kind of makes it out like you are the same one from Warlock Mountain. Okay, here we go. Should we roll both at the same time? Yeah. Okay, what have we got? 11. 17 versus 7. 16? Yeah. It's all connected gonna, by cheese. It's going to take a long time to get rid of this stamina. Okay. Not that long. We'll be alright. 6, 8. You're beating him? Yeah. Seven Beating plus him. 11, 18. I suppose all we have to do really is if we roll higher or anywhere close, we've beaten him. Yeah. Yeah. Did we? Yep. Yeah. We've got four more than him anyway. Skill. It's all connected to the cheese, yeah. <laughs> oh, you got six as well. Do you want to re roll it? Oh, uh, it's alright, I think. 17, 18, 19, 20. We've beaten him. Yep. Pretty confident in that one. Yeah. Yeah, as long as there's not four difference between each yeah. one. Oh, now we've got to do the maths. Okay, six, three... We've got 18. 13. 17. Oh, I just were beating him. Quick maths. Quick maths, yeah. Okay, even yep. still wins. See, look at that. He's already down to two. True, true. Double three. dice definitely works better. You said that before we before it landed no, in the final destination. He's not even scratched us. Yes. He's okay. dead. He's dead. Here we go. Right. What, where were we? What were we fighting? I don't remember. The, or the... <laughs> no, the orcs. We were <laughs> yeah, we had to fight them. If you win, turn to one, three, five. You search the dead, the bodies of the dead swamp orcs. Their weapons are of poor quality and their provisions are too disgusting to touch. However, one of them has a few gold pieces which you add to your store. And another one has a crude map. Comparing it with your own, you soon find your present location 
but you learn little that is new. However, directly to the south, there is a picture of a frog with a crown over its head. So that's south from where we are now. I'm stuck on yellow. Why? I just am. I think you press the button to change the normal click to the right click. Oh. Um, right, so where are we? 26. We're here, 26. So maybe... Um, what, so can we go south? We don't have a, a way to go yet. What are the options? Yeah, we just go to 309, but oh, okay. um, we need your three gold pieces as well, which I'll we'll add into this for now. So we go 309. Did it say three or just a few? Three. Good night, John. Night, John. Well, if we are on either tomorrow or the day after, we will be on earlier, so you should be able to catch yeah, it. Yeah, we were very late just, too. Yeah, keep an eye out on Twitter. We'll post that before we go live. So you have a choice of three exits from this clearing where you go north, south, or east. Oh. So should, do we want to get the west. crown? Yes, north, south, or west. So should we try and get the crown? From the crow. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna just take 53, and I think we should probably leave it here to be honest. Okay. So let me just get to page 53. Uh, Was that north, uh, south, or west? South. Okay, so uh, I'm not, I'll read this next time, I'm just gonna write the, the clearing down. So then we're going to clearing eight. Okay. Okay, so we need to, maybe we should write like in the top right corner what page we're on of the map. Yeah, what page? 53. 53. Yeah, so I'll just show you guys before we go. So. We're down here. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say maybe circle it, but then we won't be able to get rid no, of it. No, <laughs> let's not do yeah. that. Okay, so that's where we're up to on the map. Uh, yeah, so this has been part one of Scorpion Swamp. We've tried a few new experimental things here, trying to get them working. Uh, we're going to try and obviously make it as smooth as possible next time but overall quite enjoying this book i'm enjoying the map system as well i'm enjoying how it's kind of clearings and you can kind of tell where you've been and not all the places you haven't been so you can retread your steps and it seems like if you get items you can go back to areas to successfully get through them so it's um it's really interesting actually i thought this would be more of a simple book it seems like it's got quite a lot to it yeah magic as well so uh, we're enjoying it so far aren't we so mm. we've died once so we'll see how it goes in the next one so Thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you again very soon with part two.